Tonight, a Warner Robins woman charged with homicide for allegedly shooting her husband who later died. Police say she shot Philip Thompson several times after an argument. Kalisha Moore is live near the shooting scene to bring us additional details. Yeah, Frank, sadly, Philip Thompson passed away more than three weeks after investigators say he was shot by his wife. As the family awaits justice through the judicial system, they say they're focusing on how they remembered him best as a friend, a brother and a cousin. New beginning, a toe shop on North Davis Drive was just one of the things Philip Thompson's family say he loved. He had a shop like mm, ever since the 90s. You know, when he went on a break for a while, he came back and did the same thing. What he liked doing, paint cars, selling rims, uh, customized stuff, you know, all that good stuff. Thompson was one of six children. His younger brother, Stephen Thompson, says he struggled with his health. He had a stroke in 2019, so he was partially disabled, uh, where one side of his body couldn't work. It was, you know, he had a hard time with it. Annette Lewis Saint says she talked to Shanita Thompson, Philip's wife, after she bonded out of jail. I started asking questions. At that point, she said, I just want to let you know that my conversations, all of my phone calls are being recorded. I said, okay, I got nothing to hide. Lewis Saint says Shanita told her conflicting stories about the shooting and sometimes claimed that Philip was physical with her. I say, listen, I don't want to hear that. I say, listen, did he, did he? hit you or put his hands on you or anything Monday morning. She said, no, I, I don't remember. I can't remember anything. In my mind, I said, uh -uh, baby, got you. Got you because just that quick, you forgot that you was being recorded and you answered no. The family says they really long to know why Shanita Thompson shot their brother. Uh, if she planned to do this in any kind of way or if this is on purpose in any kind of way, then it definitely should be some kind of justice for that, whatever the justice system, you know, allows. The family did tell me they have not yet held services for Thompson because of a disagreement between the family about his burial. Live in Warner Robins, Kalisha Moore, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Kalisha. Lieutenant Eric Gossman says Shanita Thompson is currently out on bond. He says she has not been formally charged with homicide after admitting to shooting her husband, but she will be. Lieutenant Gossman says anyone with information can contact Detective Carmen Thompson at 478-225-6178.